What's going on, world? We're here in Jamaica, and we got some fresh Irish sea moss. This is a fresh batch we just got right here. Check this out. Look at the perp in there. This is a very nice, thick variety we got. We've got a little bit of it before in some of the batches we've harvested, but this right here gets you a nice, thick gel. This will emulsify very well when you guys bake, so you guys gotta try this out. Also, if you wanna make a very thick smoothie, you just add this in there, and you only need a little handful to make some good uh, gel from that, so this gives you a lot of return right here. Oh man, y'all got me back in the kitchen again. About to spread this knowledge to you all. Cause first of all, Grand Rising, good morning. It's your boy Scott Brown here, back with another video. And today's video is gonna be very, very special because I'm gonna be talking about a lot of knowledge and giving you guys wisdom to better your overall healthy lifestyle, all right? So I'm here for you all. And I'm just happy to spread this knowledge to you guys on YouTube and you know sharing the videos and supporting me on this journey all right so let's talk about it so this is gonna be a video about sea moss and this is not my first video about sea moss you already know I love sea moss you know especially coming from the West Indies Jamaican pick up yourself you don't know Irish moss barbaroos whatever you want to call it I'm gonna say anything else if you don't know about sea moss sea moss has over 90% essential minerals for the human body can, it's really good for thyroid health, skin health, hair health, increase the sexual drive, you know, so you can rum up some things for both men and women. So increase the, the natural libido of both men and women, all right? So there's a lot of healing properties when it comes to CMOS. But there have been some corruption as far as the CMOS industry goes. And I want to talk about it because it's only right that I give you guys quality content and to talk about things like this, all right? So, you have two types of sea moss. Two. Wildcrafted sea moss, which is crafted from mother nature, not tampered by man whatsoever, you know, we're letting mother nature run its course. Wildcrafted sea moss, which is high quality. Then you have farm sea moss, which is farmed in a pool. Um, a pool where you go swimming and things like that. It's formed in a pool, which is definitely tempered by man, not um, wildly crafted at all. So this is a very low quality of sea moss. And with it becoming low quality, it increases the quantity because it's a lot of sea moss out there on the market. All right, so today's video is all about telling the difference and letting you guys know the information between wildcrafted sea moss and farm sea moss. The real versus the fake. High quality versus low quality. I really feel like it's very important to share you this information, right? Because we're always here to learn and to teach one another. So without further ado, um, let's sit down and let's have a conversation about it. Let's go. Alright my people, so now we are seated and let's have a conversation. So first of all, as you can see, I have two types of sea moss. I have two types of sea moss. I have wildcrafted sea moss and then I have farmed sea moss. And the most important thing is that you want to ask yourself these three questions. Where are you getting your sea moss from? The quality of the sea moss and the characteristics of the sea moss. So in this video, I'm going to break it down step by step. Alright? so. The first one we want to tackle is where you getting your sea moss because you can get sea moss for dirt cheap on Amazon, from Alibaba, from all types of things, all right? All types of different websites. You can get it dirt cheap. And for us, we're looking at quality over quantity. You can get sea moss in one of those health food stores, you know? And the most important thing you have to ask is where you're getting the sea moss from. If you ask a clerk like, hey, you know, where's the sea moss coming from? And they can't answer it or give you a straight answer, then most likely it is farmed. All right, so there's no like direct origin from it. They just must have got it from a third party distributor and say, all right, let's sell it. But then you have people who you ask these questions to, especially if you go to like Vital Vegan Inc. or if you check them out on Instagram, you can actually see them going into the ocean. you 
some fresh Irish sea moss. We're diving for it. He just came out, you know, uh, by the rocks. Diving to get Mother Nature's gift, which is the sea moss. So they're actually going out there and getting it wild. Wild craft sea moss. It's not being tampered by man or not being in a pool in its unnatural habitat. All right, so wild crafted, definitely higher quality. So ask yourself, where are you getting your sea moss from? Are you getting it from a, a trusted provider? Are you getting it from somebody that, you know, that has accountability? Somebody's gonna tell the truth? Or just somebody that wants to make a quick buck off of you, all right? So we're all about quality over quantity. Ask yourself, where are you getting your sea moss? So the second thing that you need to understand when you're telling the difference between wild crafted and farmed sea moss is the characteristics of the sea moss. Now, as you can see here, this there's two types of sea moss on my table, right? And like I said before, one is craft, one is wild crafted, and one is farmed. Now, wild crafted sea moss, it's dry. It looks like thin, very thin noodles, very thin noodles and also not so much salt on it. Bare minimum. The great ancestor, Dr. Savi, also said that sea moss shouldn't have that much salt on it. Little to no salt, all right? Now, see right here? I'm, I'm gonna do a close-up, don't worry. You're gonna see it. Um, and then right here, I got this. So this is what it is. I got the sea moss from Vital Vegan Inc. And then this sea moss right here, I got from a local store. I'm not gonna name the store, but I got it from a local store. So with this sea moss, it's highly salted, highly, highly salted. Now that tells me that this is a farm crafted sea moss because of the high salt content. Most likely they put a lot of iodine salt to preserve it. And this is definitely not mother nature way of doing things. This is definitely, you know, touched by man. And you can just tell by the characteristics of it. So that's something that you need to um, also ask yourself and also wonder about. Now the third thing is the actual buildup of the sea moss. Now I'm going back to how the sea moss look. There's many different species of sea moss itself. But like I said before, wild crafted, barely any salt on it. And also you can look at it, it's very thin it's very thin it doesn't have that salty sea smell it's because it's dried out sea moss is supposed to be dried out all right now here which is the farmed <laughs> the farm sea moss it's very thick if it looks like the sea moss is very unusually thick then most likely it's farm sea moss and also going back to the high salt content it should not be as salty at all i know it comes from the sea but most people they try to put iodine salt to preserve it so you want to stay away from farm crafted sea moss quality over quantity you're getting more with wild crafted because this is um letting mother nature run its course while this one is being speed up uh, this this one is being sped up people who just want to make some quick money and people do not understand the importance of it yes 90 percent essential minerals for the human body but you want the max amount of minerals for it all right so like i said before quality over quantity and yeah guys this is the official guide to understanding wild crafted versus Farm crafted sea moss, all right? These are these three questions. Where are you getting the sea moss, the characteristics of the sea moss, and the properties of the sea moss? Because we only want the best and the best for our people, all right? So, like I said before, if you're looking for some wild crafted sea moss, please, vitalveganink.com, use my code BURNHARD20, get a nice discount. It's your boy Scott Brown here. Rate, comment, like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, man, share this video with somebody who wants to find out the difference between wild crafted versus farm sea moss, all right? So, job bless. Big up yourself.